Hey guys, it's me, Sniffle here, back here with a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing a simple tutorial on just making simple thumbnails. We're not going to go too advanced uh, today, but for, uh, for now, the first thing I want y'all to do go ahead right now is just press create new, as simple as that, as simple as that can be, and well, orientation for a thumbnail is 1280 to 720, that's all y'all need to know to make a thumbnail, just press create, so... Yeah, this is your can canvas or well, your background you're going to be using to do whatever you want. Usually I just unlock it so I don't have to worry about doing anything else. Alright, so for right now, we're going to need a uh, well, a proper background. So, I'll just go on Google right now and just search up gaming background. And just grab whatever image you want. And I grab, let's say, this. This one looks cool. Alright, just press that save save as save it to whatever you want i have i already have have this already saved so i don't have to be worried about it you gotta do is click and drag all right so now we have our background now all we gotta do is spread it out how you ever want we can size it resize it make it smaller make it bigger however y'all want we're just gonna make it to fit the page as how we fit need it and just press that check mark and all right so um we don't want it to exactly make it exactly look like this rasterize the layer of course by uh right clicking and just press rasterize so it looks a bit cleaner and not pixelated now we're gonna make our background make it a bit more say like a since we're making a, a meme thumbnail we're gonna make it look like a meme thumbnail so we're gonna distort it however we want it to be distorted make it have it ripples let's see uh, let's add let's do a twirl make it look a bit nice yeah that should do it and then one more thing we should distort yeah distort if you want to make it more distorted to make better than it is right now and this is to zoom out to see how much we did with it uh, you can change the style around the center outer center and just press ok what we're gonna do now is we're going to add our character which is uh well a roblox dude we have right here but we're not gonna finna add him right here what we're gonna do is um we're gonna make a new document here we have it. so we're gonna shrink down because it's gonna be a bit easier to do so instead of having it do another one just have it right here uh, I usually use this tool if I wanna say move in or crop them out of the picture do over with this that go around boom over here pop Okay, I'm just make sure it's the most accurate thing possible. Okay, one was done. Let's get right there. One there. And there. We have a fully cropped character. Now, all you're gonna do is right click and press layer copy, which is a very easy thing. Press dup press right click again, duplicate layer. Um, Press to the untitled one since uh, if you have it named it or not. But that'll be and now our character is now here. Control T makes it and be able to move it, make it bigger, as well as move it around however we want. We want it in the center because the center gives it a lot of attention. And since it's simple, we don't need to do as much as little work as possible. So, um,. If we want, we can uh, say image, we can do some adjustments to the background layer or to the character itself if we want to. Add some brightness, make them bright a bit. Press OK. If you want, uh, you want to bring levels up, if you want to, just press auto. It gives it a nice feel. And as well, exposures or hue and saturation. Make it a 
gonna change some saturation colors a bit. Press OK. Just same with layer one. Or your character, I suppose. Press OK. Layer adjustments. If you want to add vibrance, if you want. We have a fully <laughs> edited and memesified character. Well, if you want to go the extra step, we'll add a distort thing. Make him look weird fun. Well, no, I wouldn't use this, but I'll use something. I suppose. Yeah. Okay, distort, yeah. Pinch. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And that should do it. Now, let's add, a, say, some memes. Let's add <laughs> the troll face. Because it's an iconic thing. Yeah, it's funny. Kind of, but not really. But it makes the... Now, we gotta make it actually stick to the face. So, so I'll just do a little bit of that. That. So, that. And boom, here we have it. Also... Rasterize layer, of course, right clicking. Rasterize layer. Also, if you wanna, before we do anything else, if you wanna go ahead and add stroke to your like, little character or whatever, you could just copy little background things or however you want it, make it black, any color you want. I'm gonna pick uh, blue, because blue is a nice color. Size it up. Make it small, big, outside, inside, center, however you want it. Normal, change, whatever. Don't even worry about that. All you just gotta worry about is size and color. Now, if you wanna shadow, cause shadow makes everything better. I've been using random ones. Controls, I haven't really thought of one, but if you wanna copy these, go right ahead. Or wanna, or choose your own. Doesn't matter how you do it. As long as you get the shadow in place. And it's a bit sealable or non sealable, it depends on how you feel. Also, if you want to add glow, go ahead. Not glow, uh, gradient, or color overlay, or, or inner glow if you want. But right now, just focus on stroke and drop shadow. Those are the two important things. And I'll just press OK. We have a stroke, and it's just action. Uh, if you want to change anything to him, add a drop sh well, not a drop shadow, but a stroke as well, so he doesn't look exactly, actually, no, 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 actually, a inner glow should work, fine. And change the color to black, if you want, as you don't really have to add anything. Now we have that in order, let's add more items. Now, our another step is um, just to add text. Because text makes everything better. Now, uh, um, I just, if you want, uh, I have, I think some of these are downloaded, I'm not sure, but we're gonna be using Obelixic Pro. Or, yeah, I believe this is downloaded, probably not, um, but actually we're gonna use this, so. Let's say, Epic. And boom. Now we got our little thing. We're gonna move this up so because of course it doesn't need to it actually doesn't really need to. Just make it bigger. Boom. Boom. There we have it. Now we're just gonna now I'm gonna do some little things. We want to add. I'm gonna make it white because white is a bit better. And change the the color to it. Add some drop shadow. 
to it. Press OK. And we have our title. We're gonna add another title to it, to the bottom. Boom. We have it. Increase it. Make it as big as possible if you want to. Stroke, add a stroke again. This time, let's add a color overlay. Color overlay. Color, over color overlay. Oh my god, I'm messing up my words. And then. Then now, add a drop shadow as well to this. And then there. There we have it. Alright. Our cool gaming thumb. We'll just move these appropriately so we can actually see our character. Boom! There we have it. Our gaming thumb. Of course, this is just really simple, and you really and just like really generic, generic thumbnails, of course. But if you want to make a natural, simple, or specific thumbnail that you want me to show you how to make or anything else, just tell me in the comments down below. This is just a simple meme gaming thumbnail or gaming meme thumbnail. So, yeah, I hope you guys. Uh, enjoy the video but before we end this video right here i'm gonna show you how to save it just press save mm, as a pdf or well as a photoshop if you want to continue or to continue more work or as well as you know, change the png then name it whatever you want press save and it will actually not a png it's a jpeg my bad guys, it's a JPEG, because JPEG is actually much easier than anything else, just name it how you want, boom, JPEG, you can actually see what file size it is, make it maximum, if you have enough space of course, and so yeah, or if you just want to just save it as an OP Photoshop, just name it, whatever, and yeah, that's how you save, uh, on Photoshop, so yeah, that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want more of these. And I will be making more type of how-to videos. of How-to videos. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, um, almost forgot. Um, shout out to my friend, uh, Jinx Fine Trolls. Uh, you can go right ahead. Links in the description down below. Uh, check out his recent video. Instagram real quick. And yeah, that's all I have for today. Peace.